I feel like the atmosphere is really electric. I mean, listen to it right now, and this is the last day of the show. Well, it's a great chance for us to gather new business and see what's new in the industry. See you at the next IT Expo. We'll be here. Hi, it's Rich Tarani here with uh, TMC. We are at SD1 Expo 2018 and IT Expo 2018. Uh, we're with uh, Mauli Radhakishnan. He is with our Yaka Networks. Uh, Mauli, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Rich? Very well, thank you. So your company's been in this space uh, for many years. Like we were talking a little bit before, it was seven, eight years, right? Yeah. I think uh, we launched, we're probably one of the early innovators in the SD-WAN space. We, I think, we got our product launched around 2010, 2011 time frame. So the product has been on the market, used by a lot of customers, pretty mature product. It's actually not a bleeding edge compared to the other people on the f floor. And now we've got um, SD-WAN is really hitting a growth curve and, you know, the estimates are in the many billions of dollars of spend and, you know, we're finding that it's solving all sorts of problems from business continuity to security to um, lots of other things. Tell us, tell us about some of the benefits of SD-WAN. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits. The fundamental benefit of SD-WAN is to make things a lot more simple, you know, removing the complexity out of building networks. Networks have been traditionally very complicated, and then the, the focus is on application delivery and performance, right? People are building technology so that they can enable business policies rather than uh, protocols and technologies, how it's been traditionally been, right? Uh, obviously, one of the other drivers is to lower the total cost of ownership, right? Uh, so that, uh, can I get a holistic solution and lower my total cost of ownership? So these are some of the big drivers of sd -Man. And now that we've got uh, a robust market and lots of players, how are you differentiating yourself? Why are customers choosing Ariaka instead of other players? So we are very unique in the way we deliver our service. Actually, we are a true disruptor in the market. We actually completely uh, can replace the technologies like MPLS, which have been there for a long time. Uh, we have a very strong story around a global enterprise. We can actually deliver applications faster, better to global enterprises. And, uh, and we, we took a very platform-centric approach where we built a global private network. We put patented technology on the network to solve a global enterprise problem rather than trying to have an incremental solution like providing just an edge box which just makes the consumption of the network easier. And um, so you really have a, a platform offering, right? It's a full solution. Tell us more about that, how that works. So our solution is what, uh, in an essential, in a nutshell, what we did is we built a global private network. You know, we have like 28 pops in like uh, like six to seven continents all around the world. Uh, I think uh, we, we kind of placed these point of presence to close enough to our users so that they are uh, business users and knowledge workers are like less than 30 milliseconds. And then uh, we actually, uh, we have a strong development team and that's where I'm, I come in, I, I, I manage the product roadmap and strategy, where they actually build a software-defined stack that runs on this platform. That's where all the secret sauce is. And then we can actually onboard our customers to this platform using uh, their existing internet connections. They don't need anything special. All they need is an internet connection they can connect. And then we actually deliver their applications that they consume, whether it's cloud, whether it's SaaS, whether it's on-prem, any UCAS, anything to them with the best performance possible globally. And uh, this is, these, are, these are the reasons people use us. And the most important thing is we delivered this as a service. So we kind of, we, we have built this platform, made it consumable for customers so that they don't need to worry about how do I do this and this and this. So we kind of, we, we, we pre-built it so that they can consume it. And that's what people like us. It gives them that agility in IT where they can actually focus their efforts on doing something else rather than trying to piecemeal networks. It's how it's been done. So what's next for the company? Uh, What's next for the company? We, uh, as a, we, we've been growing, I would say, 150% year over year. We want looking to strongly position to go IPO from a financial standpoint. Uh, from a product standpoint, we actually are looking at uh, positioning us into the B2B IoT space. We want to build a security platform. And so these are some of the initiatives. So our goal is to be you know, a single solution for an enterprise global man. Right? That's what we are. Very exciting. Thanks so much for being here. No, thanks for your time, Rich. Nice talking.